And President Muhammad Buhari has warned that his government will not tolerate any action uh, promoting crime and insurrection in the country. And joining me now to share his thoughts about this is a public affairs analyst, Chukuma Okewa. Good to have you join us. Uh, thank you so much. So a lot of people have been calling for the president to address the nation in light of the recent security challenges, uh, whether in the southeast or, or even in the southern part of the country or in the north. We cannot call this a national address, but he, he was responding to the INEC chairman um, who was giving him security briefing on INEC facilities. But it, that particular speech has come under scrutiny, and I just want to get your thoughts on that speech. Yeah, I think uh, that speech is uh, what I would describe as unpresidential, uh, considering the mood of the nation at the point in time. Uh, don't forget that uh, on 30th, and by extension 31st, was a time the southeastern part of the country was reflecting on one war that has defined the history of this particular country called Nigeria. Over 3 million lives were lost in the nigeria Biafran war. And so what should have been expected is a situation where dialogue engaging the agitators and not a situation where the president is issuing address, most importantly, citing instance of the lives that were lost, the millions of lives. Is that a threat of a possible genocide attempt again the second time? That shouldn't come from Mr. President, considering that we've not seen this measure of stance when we even talk about the terrorist groups like Boko Haram, we talk about the headsman killers. So how all of a sudden did Mr. President find his voice and his man threatening to clamp down on not just the agitators, but making reference to the whole region? That is unpresidential. Um, you talked about the president engaging these agitators. Let's not forget that um, these agitators you're referring to come under the umbrella of the um, of IPOP, and let's not let's not also forget that the president has moved for the prescription of IPOP, and that has been done by a court in this country. Um, they have been designated as a terrorist group by this administration. So it it would be um, wouldn't it be out of place to say that the president should have dialogue with a, a group that he has moved for the prescription? And then again, um, people have also said that the president hasn't taken any tough stance on what is going on in this country. Would this be considered a tough stance? Well, we've seen the presidency negotiate and plead with other renowned terrorist groups that even though officially has not been prescribed by Nigeria, but of course when you talk about our terrorism assessment and indices globally, we have two of these groups that fall within the top four globally. So a situation where the president was fast to secure the prescription of the group rather than engaging in dialogue. These are issues. These issues are real. The nation has a history of civil war and some of those issues that led to the civil war has not been tackled. So let me say first that one of the major mistakes was prescribing as IPOP. Having said that, even if IPOP, IPOP were prescribed maybe and, and uh, designated a terrorist group, We've seen terrorists being negotiated with for, and then also it does appear there is uh, some great deal of bias in the way the presidency goes about issues, because things that has to do with Southeast, we've seen like uh, Operation Python dance, we've seen Operation, Operation Crocodile mice, but then the program that is now designed for renowned terrorists, we have Operation Safe Corridors that really uh, 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 terrorists, and I mean it's not good enough. Mm. Um, I mean, we have so much to talk about on, on this issue, and I'm, I'm hoping we can have you um, again, Mr. Kewa, so we can look at this issue critically, because um, this, that, there are calls for uh, there are several agitator, agitations across the country, not just the southeast. Um, but thank you so much for talking to us, public affairs analyst. Yeah, thank you.